Traitors and thieves, you call friends? You'll be relieved to hear I have no idea. Now, finally I have the very very interesting mask from Netherlands. This mask is called MOD S2. Uh, so Mark Austin, who kindly replied to most of my comments on the uh, crowdfunding page, he kindly offered me to send me the uh, commercial package. Now please note this is the backer's kit and I can see that he really wanted to send it to me very quickly because I have actually been chasing him so I don't really mind the package and I'm sure the, pa the commercial package will be really nice but I'm sure many of you out there wanted to know what it looks like, how it looks like, how it fits so I'm going to go into the details but before we do let's have a quick look. So what I have here is the pink version this is for my wife and this is the black version which is for my personal use it's very flexible and what we have is the rest is two of the 10 filters that you have to replace so let's get into the details of how it works and how it fits so here it goes right so let's put the pink one aside because that's my wife's mask so if you get rid of all the bits all right so i believe that's the string that goes attach and then around your face to fit your mask now this one i believe that's what goes on front or is it in the back we'll find out and um i think that's another filter isn't it in the middle that goes between those two and lastly that's the frame that helps you to be able to fit the filter so let's get into the more details right by the looks of it i think the white filter part needs to go into front so just so you know it's gray on the back is it and white in the front so i believe that will go in here So make sure the rubbery bits are all tightened up, fit in. Um, and then I think this one is quite an interesting one. It's like a transparent thing, but by the looks of it, I think this goes here, doesn't it? And then I assume this will go in. Like that. Ah, so I heard that click sound. So I think that's fit in. Um, and then I think this one is pretty obvious that you need to put it at the front. So would it fell out? I'm not sure. And the final bit is this String. Let's see how that fit. Hmm, this might look a bit tricky. So the way how I um, join all the strings together, please correct me if I got it wrong. But um, since I haven't got the instructions, I actually start the one of the tip sharpie tip goes here and then there and then going out and going in as well. And then in the end, eventually. You will meet the clip so you actually join it together and then once you're happy with that i presume you can actually push that in so let's get on with the comparison between the mod s2 mask and this is the oz air uh, mask that i made videos about recently two of them and lastly the um, kf94 mask which is very popular in korea so here it goes okay Right. Great, okay. That seems to fit well.
I feel a bit of blockage. Actually, I think it's this one, isn't it? I see. So this blocks off a bit. Uh, this acts like a lockout valve that the Oz Air has. If you, have, if you don't know what lockout valve is, please check out the video with regards to this one. With regards to comfort level, I guess the string you can adjust it. It's a bit tight, but no, it's fine. It's fine actually, yeah. It's okay to breathe, but the biggest uh, downfall is that the air comes out this way, okay? So every time I breathe, strong air comes out this way okay now the um, oars here very comfortable much comfortable than this one actually unfortunately <laughs> I don't know actually, it's similar, the air in and out, but obviously more secure around the area. Lastly, the uh, KF mask, which is 94. <sighs> it's, it's very light, it's, it's not tightly secured, but very easily to breathe. Obviously you could adjust the size on your nose. Well, all the air comes out all the way, but it does protect top and the bottom so the main subject goes back to the comfort level of this I guess you have to make a few adjustments the breathing is okay uh, the looks it looks so cool it does remind me as I expected of Kylo Ren kind of feel I need to work out how I could completely fit this around my face with the string um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just that I got Oz Air, which is really comfortable now. I can see that why it's so comfortable to breathe. This one, because I got a big head and large jaw, I, I think this is not customized for my shape of face. But then again, I still need to work around it. But the biggest disadvantage, again, is the way how the air comes out every time I breathe around my eyes. So it's actually interrupting my eye movement let's get on with the glass uh, foggy test shall we all right here it goes Surprisingly, I can't see any fog. So my final thoughts on these three is that this um, MOD S2 mask is comfortable to breathe, but it's not tightly secured on my face, obviously because uh, this is a European product designed in uh, Netherlands. Um, and I don't think this is actually designed for a guy like me. But then again, I got a really interesting shape head, an Asian head, but a flat head and a wide jaw and wide gigantic face. So uh, there are a bit holes here and there when you breathe, when I breathe in and out, especially the bit when it's actually cut in here. Um, the air seems to be the breeze going in and out. Surprisingly, it hasn't actually caused any fogginess to my glass as you have seen. Um, there's this lock valve that it actually gives an extra secure. So I guess if you have cold or if you're in a uh, tightly um, crowded place then obviously you might have to use this to add an extra now i'm very surprised that oz air was the most comfortable and most sealed uh, breathing wise it's not as freely open as the kf94 mask but this is really good the thing that i actually pointed out from my previous video is the fact that this form seems to be cutting out a bit here and there so i would like to see how long the form uh the this sponge will um, last now lastly this KF mask is brought open if you breathe in and out the air comes here and there all over the place but then again um, Koreans believe that this KF mask have contributed hugely for them to prevent 
them getting the coronavirus. So if this is secure, definitely these two are secure as well. But after the long use of the MODS2 mask, you would have noticed from the clip that I started to get red marks here and there, mainly because of the string and from the top bit here that is pushing against my uh, face. So I have to say overall, I am satisfied with all of them, but mostly I am happy with the Oz Air. Now, the only problem with the Oz Air is the fact that if I were to wear it in the middle of the summer, as I mentioned from my previous video, I will be sweating like a pig. So I guess in the hottest day, unfortunately I have to do, use the KF mask, but um, I would like to rate the Oz Air the most. But this looks so cool. I'm gonna so stand out in the middle of the crowd if I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna be one of those fashionable guys who wears these Ferrari type of um, masks. So everyone's gonna look at me and looks like Kylo Ren again. Okay. So um, I'm really pleased with that as well. Anyway, if you would like to send some of your mask as a sample to compete against these three, I'm more than happy to do so if you come from that background. But as a, a consumer, as someone back, uh, I hope I give you a bit of a insight of how this works. But if you have any other further queries, please do comment below. And I hope this video helped you to understand more about these products. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Te. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. All the best. Bye-bye.